Hey guys, uh, I'm uh, Ryan Gantis from PJ Gallagher's Des Moines and Parramatta and Chef David Little here is uh, going to help me put together our famous dish, I guess you could say, our signature dish, the one that everybody orders, the one we try hard to keep up with, but we always make sure it's wrong. Uh, what you really need is... Where is it Lamb shanks. Oh, very good. <laughs> okay, we do have... Uh, it's a braised lamb shanks, burgundy braised lamb shanks. Uh, we get them French trim, top and bottom, because you know, they're too much bone and not enough meat. It's really kind of makes it a bit not pleasant, I guess you could say. Uh, we have four, I'm going to do four shanks, which will serve two to three, depending on how hungry you are, of course. We serve two on our menu of PJs. We have a hot pan here. Just a little tip, always make sure your pan is smoking hot. You've got to brown the meat off in order to get quite a bit of colour out of your stock, giving a lot more flavour in your meat. As you can see here, the pan is getting quite smoky there. Flour the uh, lamb shanks. This helps thicken the sauce while it's braising. As you're doing that, I'm just sauteing off some um, veggies. Shanks, we're going to cook this with some wine for a very, very long time. Probably, what, around two and a half, three hours? Yeah, two and a half, three hours. <clears throat> Just remember, about 150, 160 degrees. So it's, uh, I'll go through the process with bringing it to the boil and then finishing it in the oven. The longer it takes, the better the dish is. If you rush it, it'll just tend to go dry, not as uh, pleasant to eat. So this will take about two to three minutes, either side, to get nice dark colours on your shanks. Okay, so as you can see, make it nicely ground off here. Guys, I tell this to everyone, any, anybody who asks me how to cook something, season your food, always. It doesn't taste good, generally, the seasoning. The stomach eating, the lack of seasoning. So I want to ground off the heat, save the glaze in the pan in the background there, getting all the flavours out of the pan. It's the red hot, I'm just trying to burn off the alcohol. See that? Okay, it's a nice, deep saucepan. Uh, this is veal stock. This is our kind of gravy. Enough to cover all those shanks. Okay, so here's our end product. As you can see, juices have gone quite a bit, at least reduced by half. Give that a taste, Dave. Taste, mate. Mm, good. Thank you. Okay, so, a little tip to make sure your meat is cooked. It has to fall off the bone, okay? See how that's falling off the bone? That's ready. There's the second one there. Do 
juices. Okay. This is just a roasted tomato. It's just seasoned at the end with a bit of olive oil, salt and pepper. 